Hello everyone, this is the Crimson Cure, welcoming you to the Crimson Tower, a place where we keep a feminine foot on the neck of the gynocracy, feminism, and black male misandry. So go ahead, pull up a chair, stay a while, and listen. This is A-Game, an all-natural herbal dietary supplement formulated exclusively for men. Our proprietary blend was designed with one goal in mind, to improve your overall health, rejuvenating your vitality, energy, strength, and libido. Want to be at your peak performance in everything you do? Then bring your A-Game. Fast-acting, long-lasting, with no side effects. Hello there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am, of course, your host, the Crimson Cure. And as usual, we're just going to jump right into the topic. And so as you can see the title, Cheating Versus Exploring Options. So this is a little bit of a debate that's been going on around these internet streets about whether or not so-called high-value men uh, cheat or they explore options, which somehow there's supposed to be some sort of difference in the outcome but I want to talk to the ladies about this subject. And I'm going to come from, of course, a value-based system. The first thing that I want the ladies to understand is what the cheating actually is. The cheating isn't really the sexual encounter. The cheating is the dishonesty that has to come along with your spouse deciding that he wants to see other women without entering into any commitment with those women. See, the thing that we have to understand is that the reason why there's even a debate here is because this whole concept, cheating versus exploring options versus, is not rooted in any value system. Nobody has a value system that codifies what this is. And the reason why no one has a value system to codify what is and what is not acceptable once anyone enters into a committed relationship, male or female, is because we actually secularized relationships. We secularized it. We actually took the concept of marriage away from its source. Allah is the source. God, Allah, the Most High, whatever you wish to call the Supreme Being, is the originator of the concept of the committed relationship, not the state. Governments initiated trying to codify it under a governmental system so they could reap benefits or try to manipulate it. But the original concept that people need to have some sort of commitment before they take benefit from one another uh, comes from our creator. Because if we didn't have that mandate, we wouldn't do it and be, we're ignoring it now. So we're, we, we don't really value that system anymore. So as a group of people, we are ignoring completely where this even comes from. And we're justifying ignoring it by saying, oh, I don't want to do it through the state or, you know, I want to do it the way I want to do it. Of course, everybody wants to do things the way they want to do it. Right. So what we have to understand, though, especially as ladies, because we have a tendency to take this very, very personally and it's like a cardinal sin and all of this type of stuff but what we need to first do is not take that so personally and what i mean by that is we have to understand what's being cheated on see we often think he's cheating on us which is only true to a very small extent the real cheat whether a man does it or a woman does it is cheating the system of the creator. That's the cheat. And to be honest, all of us have cheated that system or we try because the system is to commit to one another. What's the purpose of the commitment? 
to not take benefit from one another without some sort of standard or boundary being there on what you can take benefit and what, how you can't, how you're supposed to behave in a situation where we're mutually getting something out of each other so that one party isn't being used by the other one. That was the purpose of it. That's the purpose of the marriage. That's the purpose of the rights within the marriage, the boundary of the marriage, what can and cannot be done, what is and is not acceptable. And see, the acceptability is not what's acceptable between myself and my husband, but what's acceptable in the eyesight of the creator. The creator has forbidden adultery. Forbidden it. Doesn't matter if you have one wife or four, you still can't commit adultery. Women don't even have that option at all to have more than one husband. So we have to understand that the cheat is the cheat of the original system, order, and structure. We're cheating our value system. We're cheating that. That's why there's so much harm involved. That's why heartbreak and bitter feelings and, you know, all of these negative feelings are aroused because we've decided that we don't need to do what the Most High said we need to do. And this actually speaks back to the conversation I had with Miss Sherry Peel Jackson earlier, which you can check out here. Not adhering to the system that actually produced the best outcomes, the value system. See, we've ignored that and gone on to try to rationalize and justify how we want to do stuff. And we haven't gotten very far. And one of the things that I think that as women, we've really done to hurt ourselves in this situation when we talk about committed relationships is that we have allowed ourselves to be manipulated into uh disregarding a valid form of relationship, which is polygyny. And we've decided that only monogamy is valid. And I wonder where we get that from, because if we are even somewhat religious, whether you're a Christian and especially if you're a Muslim, because I, I hear Muslim women talking about how they're not going to tolerate they man having another wife. You don't have a right to deny it. You will end up coming out of Islam trying to feel some type of way about him exercising his right to get another wife. Be careful that you don't start disobeying a law because you feel some type of way and your little feminist leanings. Don't let feminism take you out of Islam because it will. But anyway, I digress. If you call yourself any type of religious or adhere to any type of religious system, then that's a value system. Are you really adhering to it? I would encourage Christian women to go back to the Bible to understand that polygyny is not invalid. It, it was never invalidated. And especially in Islam, it's, it's, it is explicitly validated in the Quran. It's not even implied. It's explicit. Now, there are rules, there are boundaries, just, it's boundaries for polygyny, just like it's boundaries for monogamy. It's really the same boundaries. But we have to understand that the reason why this is even uh, an argument is because of our messed up value system. There is no base. So when there is no good foundation of a value system, we will say anything. We can just, uh, the human being can justify anything. We can justify any action that we want to engage in. We can certainly rationalize and figure out how we don't need to feel bad about engaging in whatever it is. So that's, my, that's me throwing my two cents into this debate. There's probably more I can say about it, but hey, what I want to know is what everyone else thinks. What do you think about the value system? Are we taking this to another level? 
Is it valid? Is this a valid debate? Is there really a difference between cheating and exploring your options? So I'd like everybody to sound off in the comment section. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop this awesome content. That's all I got for you today. I'm going to sign on out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey guys, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.